Hello everybody, welcome back to when the Zephyr plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't- if, if you, uh, watched the video- the last play I put up yesterday of Fallout, assuming I actually get that thing done, ugh, then you'll know that I was gone for a week. I mean, you, you probably noticed anyway, I've been gone for a week, crap happened, shit happened, and my internet was out, non-functional, etc, etc. I ain't gonna go into detail. Anyway. More Isaac. It's been a, been a little bit too long, in my opinion. I'm not... I think I'll actually just do a straight-up, just a regular old run. Who do I want to play as? Ugh. I need to. I need to play as... I need to play as triple question mark, little butt, known as Boo Baby. But instead, I'm going to hit random. And it almost gave me Boo Baby anyway. But you know what? I am totally down with Eve. This is... Just fine, just fine, just fine indeed. So anyway, I've been gone for a week. I'm, I'm very out of practice with all of the games that I've been let's playing. If you've seen the Project M stuff that's been going up though, that's basically never gonna quit, even if my internet's out. I have a buffer of that. Oh wow, that was really dumb. I have a buffer of those Project M videos up through the end of February, or at least almost the end of February, so. Even if more dumb things happen, you don't need to worry, right? I'll still be around. That was just stupid. To oh my god! Wow. That was a really, really good spider throw, you asshole. Bob's Curse is really not what I want to see right off the bat, especially playing as Eve on the cellar with Curse of the Unknown, and I've already taken three hits, which means one more and I'm dead. Remember when I said I'm out of practice? I am out of practice. It's just, it's so bad. Yeah, that's right. Walk at me very slowly. This is the best plan that you've ever had. Well, at the very least, getting hit three times as Eve this early on really doesn't matter that much. Because, you know, poor Babylon, the curse, whatever it's called, I forget which. That spirit heart is probably not something I should have taken, but I don't care that much. I mean, it's a toss-up whether or not I should have taken it. If I got hit once without it, I would die. But if I take the risk, don't take it immediately, and don't get hit at all, then I can bring it with me to the next floor and get a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil, which is, like, uh, paramount. Of paramount importance when you're playing as Eve, deals with the devil. Getting to a permanent Horror Babylon state as quickly as possible is basically how you need to, how you need to play as her to win. Now, remember, I'm no expert. This is just what I've observed and what I've what I've ex both observed and experienced. Okay, I I hate spiders. I hate spiders so much. I've kind of gotten over my uh, arachnophobia in recent years, though. Like my actual le oh my god, actual official arachnophobia, so to speak, or IRL arachnophobia. I've gotten over it. I right? gotten over it. That's fine. They, they still freak me out a little bit, but if they don't get too close, and I don't get too close, then there's no harm. Then they're just little boogers hanging out on my wall trying to creep me out with their eight spindly legs. And, and that was really dumb. Well, already wasted. Oh, come the hell on. That was dumb. Oh my god. Out of practice, out of practice, out of practice. Ugh, I gotta get back into the swing of things, man. Unfortunately, I'm... Did it seriously just give me Curse of the Unknown twice in a row? What the hell? That's just so mean! Curse of the Unknown is like the worst curse. I'm pretty sure it's... At least for me, anyway, it is the worst curse you can get. And I get it twice in a freaking row. Ugh, whatever. Whatever! No, I am not a wizard. I probably shouldn't have taken that red heart, but I don't think I care. Because, quite frankly, the extra survivability is a little bit more important to me right now than the extra damage. Although I guess the extra damage would make me a bit less susceptible to needing the extra survivability, so it's kind of a toss-up. Are you a wizard is the thing that's given this whole 45 degree angle shot thing, and it doesn't really concern me that much. It, it, it can be irritating sometimes. Ooh, that was really lucky. Pretty happy to see that, actually. 
couple of keys is good news. And you know what? I can bomb into this curse room for free, so I might as well. I have a few extra bombs. Ain't gonna hurt anything. Spiders! Yay! What a good use of a bomb. Truly. I'm not being sarcastic. That I know of. Probably not. I hope I'm not. I am feeling really tired, however, but double shot is an extremely good item. This is a great pickup. Same full fire rate. I think the fire rate might actually be a little bit less than what you start with before you get it, but unlike triple shot and quad shot, it doesn't completely kill your fire rate in exchange for, you know, more shots fired at what? Once. Lemon party, that's nice. Got enough money, I feel like I can check out my shop justifiably. And I'll just take a soul heart thing and be on my way. I should still have just two red heart containers, I'm pretty sure. What was the, what was the item from my first boss? I've forgotten already. I feel like I should have been paying attention to that. Anyway, I'm really hoping that that soul heart right there is going to be what it takes to get me a deal with the devil on this floor, which is... Which would be ideal, I think. Anything that's, that's like, functionally a good damage upgrade, I would take. Even if it's only just a familiar, I would be happy with that, so long as I can get down to permanent horror Babylon status. Or at least relatively permanent. It's as permanent as it needs to be, I guess. Something like that. Nothing needs to be genuinely permanent in a game like Isaac. That would just take out all the fun. Oh, you stupid spider. I really do hate how the spider's movement pattern is just so erratic. That just, uh, it's good design because the game is based on RNG, but it's a pain. Passage. I'm going to assume that just functions like the, uh, like the shovel. Not really into that. I mean, I guess I can use it whenever. I could use it to go to visit a curse room and escape with only wasting, you know, half a heart. That would be kind of a silly, probably overdramatic use of it, but I don't care. I'm just gonna... Why on earth does this feel so loud right now? That is really weird. What ifs? Wait, you're not Pin? What do you think you're doing? Hi, Pin. Nice to see ya. Welcome. Welcome to the part where I kill you. This is the part where you run away. Quote, quote, Shrek. Unquote, end quote. Quote, end quote, quote. Is it quote, unquote, or quote, end quote? I'm not actually sure which. I suppose, it, I suppose it could be either, really. Doesn't matter that much. And so that means three red hearts. And it gives me this stupid deal with the devil immediately. Which takes me right back to it. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. And you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna go. I really do hate it when that happens. When the first deal with the devil, which you need to be something good, is friggin' three red chests. Oh, whoa. Oh! Well, this doesn't get me down to Horror Babylon, but it's the mark. I will absolutely take that. Open this up. And Guppy's head is a wonderful item, so I will... It's not really going to do that much because my damage is so low, but it's it's really useful nonetheless. So gladly very much so, I will keep it, and I will use it to its fullest potential. I mean, it's a one-room charge. Ah, darn, now I'm really wishing I had grabbed the Nun's Habit from that first shop. That would make Guppy's head so much more potent. Oh, whoops. My bad. That's fine, that's fine. No loss. Still have, you know, four soul hearts. And Curse of the Maze is apparently a thing that I didn't notice. Okay. I guess. As soon as I'm done with this room, I'll check. So I'm really, really bad at paying attention to that, apparently. <laughs> Curse of the Maze, yay. Just what I wanted to see. Not really. Oh, boy. Alright, that didn't go very poorly at all. Somehow. I escaped with minimal harm. 
Uh, one of the things I really do appreciate about Eve is how she starts with a higher speed than most characters. It really is useful, the ability to dodge enemy shots. Like, some of these some of these rooms in the catacombs in the cellar are just annoying as hell. Uh, super gluttony. I'm actually doing enough damage that it that you don't matter. Now I can't reach that, and that's mean. That is actually really mean. I got a bunch of bombs. I should really be looking for secret rooms. Could be here. I wasn't paying attention. It's totally there. Nice. And I get a bomb for my troubles. That it does not interest me very much. I mean, whatever. It's a net gain. I'll take it. I feel like I'm escaping a lot of this damage just by pure luck. Which doesn't really say much as my, uh, to, it doesn't really say much to my ability as a player. With a one room charge use item, I might as well just grab that and use it immediately. I mean, ain't gonna hurt anything. Bead liquors, whatever. So somehow, surprisingly, as Eve on the third floor, my damage output is sufficient. Are you gonna let me go somewhere, game? Thank you. I'm surprised none of these shots are hitting me, but I'm glad they're not. These enemies that shoot in random directions like this, they just, they piss me off. They snipe me sometimes when, you know, it's completely random where they fire. Yeah, it just feels incorrect. Just kind of thumped my desk on accident there. Uh, I'm not going to bother with any of this stuff. I will, however, go fight the boss. It is two monstros. Not a problem, especially because they're this monstro. I do believe this particular champion monstro can't actually do the high jump, which means that the being in a big room doesn't really concern me that much. Because typically the bosses that can do that really high jump thing, or any enemy that does on big rooms, you can't see when they're going to jump. You can't see that tell, so when they do jump at you, you, you don't know what's happening until they're on you. But in this double boss room with this particular monstro, I am not concerned. Considering all this monstro can do, this particular one can do, is the really, really short hop and, uh, shooting at me. No problem. Got a soul heart for my trouble. Screw and no deal with the devil. Darn. It's unfortunate. I still haven't seen the item room, though. Gotta go back for it. But yeah, having gotten an early mark, or at least a relatively early mark, is doing wonders right now. It's really helping out. Ugh. Part of what I ate for dinner is apparently not happy with me. Who would have thunk it that store-bought chimichangas would not really go over well with my systems when I spend all this time talking. Uh, I can totally look for a second secret room and still get this bomb back. Darn. I was hopeful. No big deal, though. Doesn't really change much. <sighs> That's the sound of me yawning, all right. That room contains the onk. That's nice, I guess. I don't really care that much. Respawning with three soul hearts when I die is fine, but yeah, I don't plan to die, so why would I care? Right, secret rooms. Did I? Oh no, I found it already. What am I talking about? I'm not paying attention. I found it first try. Right, that's it. Uh, arcade interests me. Sort of. Possibly. Curse room. I'll, I'll just go to the curse room now. Oh, whoop. Okay, that was just a whole bunch of stupid and me taking some really dumb damage. Some dumb hits. That's fine, though. Uh, at least I'm not dead yet. I got plenty of health. I got plenty of health. Plenty of health. Good damage. That's all you can ask for in Isaac Run. And Mom's Wig, I believe. Yeah, Mom's Wig. I found out recently Mom's Wig just randomly spawns those kamikaze spiders that, you know, help you out and stuff. So, apparently this is like a really, really good item or something. <laughs> it's not something I pay attention to that much. I don't get it very often. It's good to have, though, for sure. It is objectively an upgrade if it does anything for me. So I'm satisfied. Oh boy. Thank you, Cube of Me, for blocking bomb fly hit. Laser bullet bomb fly? Is that what they're called? Bullet bomb fly? 
bullet bomb, bullet fly. No. I don't even know what those things are called. I suddenly feel obligated to know. Huh. Eh, whatever. No big deal. No difference made. If I'm if I'm sounding a bit repetitive to you, I'm sorry. I'm aware that I am, and I don't know. It's been a while since I did any actual serious commentating like this, so I'm a little, a little out of it. Not exactly having the greatest of days either. Cool nickel. Fighting greed is actually not that bad, honestly. I like it. I like the uh, the the idea of having extra money like this. It'll come in handy for future shops. Or I could go to the arcade and just start spamming it. This is the floor of the arcade, isn't it? Yeah. I could just start spamming the three-man gambligant thing. Whatever it's called. Start working away on that blood bank, but at the same time, remember, I really do need to get down to low health because that's how Eve functions, and I haven't gotten much of an opportunity to do that. Basically, I'm just really hoping for another deal with the devil. It's unlikely that I'm not gonna get another one, so I think I can... God damn it. I think I can safely bank on it. Dipshit, you just crawled right into that. And I'm satisfied with just fighting the boss immediately, which is Gertie. Gertie is easy. Easy, easy, easy. Gertie just has the slowest and most predictable tell on where it's gonna fire. It's just it's 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 crazy. It's ridiculous. Keep me once again saving me some ridiculous damage. And me once again getting very congested. I don't know why this always happens. It might just ugh. It might just be a result of talking more than I usually do, it means I have to breathe more than I usually do, which means I'm getting more dust and crap into my system than I usually do. Also gonna take a drink here real quick. Ah. Much better. Possibly. Anyway, all that stuff aside, another HP upgrade, I am dropping things. I don't know how to feel about that. It It's technically useful, but again, it's just not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna mute my mic for, microphone for a second, gonna make some nose blowy noise. Uh, which I can apparently do with one hand. I'm kind of proud of that. Uh, hopefully that will help me breathe a little bit better than I was before. There we go. There's an awful lot more to this floor than I didn't realize. That's cool. So I have enough money to purchase basically anything in the next shop, which... Oh, more keys, that's nice. I will I will be banking on some good shop items, I think. I gotta say, though, I really gotta say, in this particular run, I feel like I'm being carried by the mark and double shot. That combination right there is... it's just a huge damage upgrade. I mean, double shot on its own is wonderful, but adding the mark to that? Oh, it's glorious. Check for a secret room here. There's not. Could be one there above the boss trap room. Which does interest me, so... Right here, I think? Something like that? Nope. Is it adjacent to the arcade, perhaps? Come on. Come on. Work with me, game. It's probably not gonna be here. I hope it is, but it won't be. Come on! Yeah, I'll play these until I get down to 15 cents. Gives me a lemon party pill. Ooh, ooh, gimme fly love, gimme. Darn it, you suck. Take some red hearts, though. Yeah, fine then. Aight, thanks. And I will play this a bit because there's some red hearts lying around the floor. Get myself down to Horror Babylon status. A little bit extra money. Get myself down even further. And further because there again is red heart red health lying around. I think I would rather have oh wait a sec. Uh um, 
I would rather have the Lemon Party Pill. I was considering for a moment there using the Passage Rune in there, just like breaking open that chest. And then completely ignoring the Boss Trap Room. But at the same time... Secret Rooms. Please. Thank you. Fine. Oh my god. All that for three cents? What a freaking waste of my time. Ah, whatever. My damage is incredible right now. For this for this point in the game, my damage is amazing. Could really use some tears upgrades though. Could be that would be excellent, I think. Uh missed the opportunity for a boss rush. Another curse of the fuck. Ah! Another curse of the unknown, and I don't remember exactly how much health I had. All I remember is one red heart. Everything else, I, I have no memory of what it is. God damn it. That's just stupid. I don't know how many soul hearts I have. I have two empty red heart containers. One full red heart of, you know, just straight up red hearts. And I don't know what else. Something else, I'm sure. Gotta have at least some soul hearts. And Curse of the Unknown, I swear, is just the most trolly, ridiculous, annoying ass piece of crap. I would rather have curse I would rather be cursed with blindness over curse of over having curse of the unknown. I am actually gonna play this for a bit. Eve is is one of the few characters that has a higher chance. I think she's one of like the two characters. Ooh. Swallow Penny's pretty cool. One of the two characters that has a higher chance of finding soul hearts than regular hearts. Like, just barely. Ba like, non-specific heart drops. She has a greater chance of having those be, uh... What's it called? Oh, sweet. Free key. Those be... I can't think all of a sudden. Soul hearts. That's what I said. I think she has, like, a 10% higher chance or something. So I don't mind playing things like that. And BFF... Oh god, Humbling Bundle or BFF? Oh crap. I'm thinking... I'm gonna actually get Humbling Bundle and then bank on getting enough money to buy BFF because BFF with Guppy's head that I've got and Mom's wig would be amazing. Yeah, see, and things like that will happen. Every penny drop is gonna be penny plus one. All of them. So hopefully I'll get a bunch of penny drops. Or maybe a bunch of chest drops. Humbling Bundle just gives you whatever the room drop was supposed to be, X2. Or, wait, no. No, that's, that's contract from below, sorry. Humbling Bundle makes all the consumables like keys and bombs and pennies and red hearts that can be keys or bombs or pennies and red hearts plus one into the plus one form. I'm sorry, I spaced. Which means that, well, that was dumb. Which means that with this particular, what I'm, what I'm trying to get right now, I also have Swallowed Penny, I just realized. What I'm trying to get right now is going to be easy. Cartridge is actually pretty cool, but I'd rather have Swallow Penny right now. Uh, room is useless. Useless room is useless. That's fine. That's right. You fire your goddamn lasers. Bill, I can see forever. That's pretty sweet, actually. I'll be able to see the uh, second secret room. Piff. Regular hollow. I'm so scared. Item room contains a rainbow baby. Rainbow baby's not that bad. I'm actually pretty fond of familiars, honestly. A little bit of extra DPS out. A little bit of extra DPS. DPS output. Damage per second output. I guess technically that is accurate. Although DPS is a measure of damage output, so. Whatever, man. I legitimately have no idea how much health I have right now. I haven't even been mentally keeping track. I should have been. But, eh. And this is... This is Necropolis 1, so I can just go fight the boss right now. Is the adversary? Yes, yeah, screw you, fella. Screw you, fella. Friend, get killed. Get died. Get, get died, be dead. Range up there, that's fine. Remember, two empty red heart containers. I will absolutely take Lord of the Pit. Without a doubt, I will take Lord of the Pit. Flight, and that brings me down to exactly one red heart container? It should. Rotten Baby would also have been a good choice. 
but I think I'd rather stick with this because flight is going to be so useful. Inevitably. Extremely useful. Oh, that's where the second secret room is. Eh, not a bad trinket. Blue fires do have a chance of dropping soul hearts. Yes, good. Alright, where was I going? I was going somewhere really specific and I forget what it was. So it was over this way. Oh, it was the shop. It's going to buy BFF. Here we go. Now. Now my damage is going to be through the roof. Yes and good. Let's see. Test. Sweet. Can't take it. Which means I should be down to either zero or... Is this mom's eye or... I think this is mom's eye. Oh, this is the inner eye. Oh. 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 Well, crap. This doesn't synergize with double shot? Okay, I have to say, I'm actually really, really annoyed at myself right now for taking this. Because now my fire rate is like, non-existent. I'm pretty sure my overall DPS is lower now. Ah! Oh well, you live and you learn. Triple shot and double shot do not mix. I really feel like they should, though. I really do. They should mix. Why don't? Why wouldn't they mix? Why can't I just fire six six bullets with uh, with six tears with every shot? Certainly doesn't hurt anything. Another passage. Well, that is what it does. Shortcut. <laughs> Completely necessary, and I am down to one red heart. Now, unfortunately, I'm also severely lacking in health right now. Like, overall. But it, it should be fine. It should be okay. Really, 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 really annoyed that I accidentally took triple shot. I I don't know why I thought it was Mom's eye. I guess it just looked like Mom's eye to me. I, I gotta start memorizing some of these sprites a little bit better. Some of these item sprites. Triple shot is actually hurting me a lot right now. Dry baby is an item that I rarely get. Bracano? Alright, sure. I'll just pop it now. I don't even really know what dry baby does. But all I know is that a lot of people seem to think it's really good. So, yay for me! Or something. BFFs is, BFF is really helping me out right now. These flies and spiders of mine are doing ridiculous damage. Of course, so is Rainbow Baby. Without a doubt. And I'm not even sure if BFFs affects uh, Dry Baby beyond just making it bigger. <laughs> if that's even considered like a legitimate effect. I guess technically it is one. Many items in this game do have an aesthetic aesthetic altering effect so you know I'll take it good good worthy trades what are you wheel of fortune that's nice I'm probably not going to bother with that thing especially because there's another one right there book of shadows book of shadows is very good but I would rather have guppy's head right now all things considered and beyond. Ooh, okay. Magic Fingers is also pretty good, but I'm going to ignore that as well. And you know what? At this point, I think it's safe to just donate the rest of my money. Hey, a red candle has appeared in the basement. Sweet. Hit 400 cents in the donation machine. That's pretty cool. Now. I feel... This... That was unintentional. This run... This is a good run so far, it really is. But there's a lot of things about it that I would like to change, or at least have done differently. For example, I have just not, just straight up not nearly enough health. That alone concerns me greatly. Taking double shot and triple shot at the same time, I don't know how these synergize, if at all. For all I know, each of these tiers I'm firing with double shot actually does double damage. In which case, I'd still rather have, like, six tier spread shot, but <laughs> you can't win them all, alright? Not every synergy that you'd expect to exist in this game does. Unfortunately. It's no big deal, though. Like, it's really not a big deal. Oh, hi. 
I didn't actually mean to give you anything, but now I'm gonna do it because I just realized I have a ton of keys. And a red chest containing some pills. Are you a wizard and lemon party? That's super not useful. Is this this is paperclip. I don't really know what this does, but I don't Hold on, what the hell kind of tears? Oh, okay. I don't think I need Swallowed Penny anymore, honestly. So I'll take Paperclip, even though I'm not 100% certain what it is. I think, I think it just makes it so when you like open a door, I keep saying like, I need to stop saying like. When you open a door, there's a chance that you will only expend no keys. Or you rather you will expend no keys. Very poorly worded on my part, I apologize. Like I said, I'm not super, super into this right now. I'm about as into it as I've ever been. I gotta say, I am doing a lot more damage than I thought I'd be right now, by this point. So this is good. This is this is going well. At this point, there's really nothing left to do but go fight Mom. Right, I can't go that way. Go fight Mom! Get this over with. Probably eat dinner. <laughs> Alright. Have a lemon party. That doesn't actually affect the segments. But it does affect the foot. Stomp on me again. Ah, oh, darn it. I didn't actually realize that it didn't affect the segments and only affected the foot. So that's that's my mistake right there. And I'm, I'm getting hit a lot more than I like currently. Definitely not a good thing. Oh, would you just go away, please? Smash your hand on the ground, please. Or your foot, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna take the Polaroid to be safe. I am very, very, very afraid right now. If I gotta deal with the devil and I didn't see it, I apologize for being an idiot, because I'm an idiot. I have almost no health. I'm concerned, especially when things like that happen. I think I blinked. I think I just straight up blinked and did not see that one little shot coming at me. Alright, are there any tinted rocks? I see none. I do see this thing, however, and it can have soul hearts in it. Ah, nothing. Alright, that one I saw coming. Fool me once, fool me twice, etc. I don't actually know the entirety of that saying. I just know that it is a saying. And the people quote it sometimes. More money, that's nice. Tinted Rock, I see it. I saw you. You can't hide from me. Thank you. Please be balls of steel. Luck up. Alright, that's that's whatever, I guess. The curse room could be exactly what I need, and it could also completely destroy me, so I'm not gonna take the risk. Oh, really? That was a really, really lucky soul heart drop right there. Umbilical cord. I don't want that. Go on. Try to crush me with your big warty hands. Ooh. 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 This would... Okay. I think I need to do this. It may seem a little strange. Ooh, that's a really lucky soul heart. Really lucky. Holy crap. But now my Polaroid gives me permanent... It, basically, I have permanent invincibility with it. So every time I get hit, I will have five seconds of complete invincibility, as opposed to not every not every time I get hit. Basically, what I just did there is going to save me a lot of heartache, a lot of trouble in the future. I just thank you for letting me hit with all of my hit, all of my shots. Hi, Chub. I don't actually know what this pill does. It is balls of steel. That is. This has been a super lucky floor already. And a range upgrade, I'm down with that. Goat head guarantee is a deal uh, a devil or angel room. Just straight up guarantees it. But you're gonna get one. Just some free flies. Oh look, gurglings. Oh look at me. I don't care. My HP situation is getting sorted out. That is also the cancer trinket, which I will definitely be taking with me because fire rate. Much, much better. I do believe that the Cancer Trinket functionally doubles whatever your fire rate is? 
I'm not completely certain on that. Don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. Does this actually do anything with triple shot? Oh, it totally does. Oops. My bad. Just looking for tinted rocks. I guess parcel while waiting for are you a wizard to stop? This is fine enough. Contrary to how most people feel about it, it doesn't mess me up as much as it does as you might think. It does mess me up somewhat though, sometimes. Ah. There we go. You just gotta pay attention to which direction it's gonna fire next. And now it doesn't even matter. I'm just imagining if there was an- if, like, are you a wizard- I keep saying like, holy crap. If are you a wizard was made into an actual item you could get, can you imagine if it just, like, if- If it gave you the are you a wizard effect permanently, but it increased your fire rate dramatically. And your damage. That would be so cool. Or maybe it, like, added homing? Oh my god, I said like again. Maybe I'm just gonna chastise myself every time I say the word like, because I need to just not do that so much. It is such a bad habit that I have, and I wish it weren't a thing. That was like that. Oh, hold on a second. That sound you just heard was me slapping myself. By the way, that was me being very, very irritated at myself for doing that again. That was the easiest conquest fight I've ever done. <sighs> Maybe if I just start slapping myself every time I say the word like in a context that it's not meant to be used as, you know, a simile or something. Maybe if I did that. Oh boy, this could be, this could be fun. Guppy's tail. Am I Guppy? I, th I think I'm Guppy. No, maybe not. I can't tell. Find out shortly. We'll find out soon. All them troll bombs. Alright, well, this definitely makes me Guppy, but I lose my Polaroid invincibility. Totally worth it. Totes worth it. I'm Guppy now. Y'all can't do shit to me. Because remember, I still do have BFF. So, this being guppiness is going to make me obnoxiously powerful. And the very, very large damage multiplier I get from having the Curse of Babylon active nearly non-stop. I'm just, I'm just gonna destroy everything right now. Paralysis, luck up. I must say, I've had a really good pill rotation this run. I think that's part of why I'm doing so well, actually. Having such good pills. Uh, the Curse Room. Now that I'm Guppy, I really don't care about it that much. Uh, I suppose it could I could get the Pact, maybe? It could be valuable. I'll do it. Darn. Missed one. Give me the Pact. Give me Guppy's Collar, I guess. That's fine. I would have rather had Guppy's Collar than 9 lives, so that way I'd keep my poor invincibility. But that's okay. Maybe I'll find a Joker card or something in the cathedral and go to get a deal with the devil and lose my last red heart and be okay. Or maybe I'll find a blood bank. That's also probably pretty unlikely. Honestly. You unlocked Crow Baby. Sweet. And since I have the Polaroid, I'll just go to the chest. Or rather, the cathedral first, and then to, and then the chest. I know, I know. The, the procedure in this game. Unfortunately, a very large part of the health that I had accrued over the last couple of floors is gone. I have no reason to be picking up all this this money, but I'm doing it anyway. Hopefully I can make do, though. Alright. You're probably going to give me an HP upgrade, but on the off chance, you don't. Bottle of pills. This could be good, actually. Gives me another lemon party pill. Thank you. This is a three room. This one rerolls consumables. Yeah, rerolls consumables. Was that worth it? Probably not. Okay. Another luck upgrade. It's fine with me. Ooh, it rerolls all the consumables on the floor. I just realized. 
So I've got new stuff here to investigate the world. I will definitely use that immediately. Okay, there is a tinted rock here. That's actually what I was looking for. Contains a golden chest, which contains some more money and bombs. Whatevs. Humbling bundle really, really paying out right now. Okay, this is a long trek to Isaac, though. Oh, hi! Shouldn't be a problem. As long as I don't keep taking some really dumb hits like that, I'll be okay. Oh my gosh, look at these flies. Look at these flies just destroying things. This is a super powerful run right now. I do believe my power level is... Not really quantifiable unless I dig into the code of the game, which I don't want to do. I was actually considering saying over 9,000, but then I remembered that that is not a good idea. Because that joke got old, I don't know, the day after it was made a thing. I don't believe I was really present on the internet when over it's over 9,000 was becoming its own meme. Ugh. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna mute the microphone again, do some more no shenanigans. I swear, having awful, awful allergies is probably what's going to end up killing me at the end of my life. That was a really, really, really bad way to get hit right there. Seriously missing my polar invincibility. But yeah, my allergies, they're just bad. They're just, they're just, they're just bad. They're just really, really, really bad, and it drives me nuts. I put up with this. I put up with living like this every single freaking day, I swear. I think it's mostly just the region I live- mostly just that the region I lived in is really dry, really dusty, and surrounded by farmland. And that's not a good combination for when you're an allergy sufferer like I am. The few times I've been on the west side of my state- I live in Washington state, by the way. The few times I live, or I've been to the west side of this state, have been the best times in my life. Because my allergies were not doing anything. Okay, I want to try and... I do know that Dry Baby absorbs tears, so I want to try and position it. So it will absorb everything that comes from Isaac. And every... apparently... Every time it absorbs enough, it triggers the Necronomicon effect. That was really, really bad. Alright. Try this again. There's Necronomicon. Oh boy. I gotta make sure to be in the center of the room when that when the wave of light starts to trigger. So that way I can use my reflexes well enough and run to the other corner. As necessary. Dry Baby is really useful in the fight versus Isaac and Blue Baby though, I gotta say. Really, really doing some good work. Off to the chest. This is where I need to get the items that'll carry me through the end of the game. Monstro's Lung. This is... what is this one? I feel like I know what this is. Technology. Oh, this is just... this is technology. Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Apparently I am not firing the triple tier... the triple shot at all right now. Or wait, yes I am. What am I talking about? I'm firing three lasers at once! I don't think Monstro's Lung actually does anything with technology. I, I, the reason I wasn't sure which what that was because I didn't know which technology it was. I would love to see if Monstro's Lung does anything with technology. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Whatever! Whatever. Oh, this is a really good room to have technology, though. The infinite range, infinite pierce is particularly useful. And remember, I still am guppy. I'm still producing all these flies. Basically what I'm thinking I'm gonna do 
is stay off to the side in most of these rooms if I can, generate as many flies as possible, and then just save them all for Blue Baby. And then basically just completely destroy Blue Baby without a second thought. So yeah, this is going pretty well. I wonder if each of these technology shots spawns three fly- or, you know, one fly per laser hit. I should hope so. Uh, where are you? You're over here. There you are, Loki. Other Loki. Dead Loki. The Game Kid. No thanks. Game Kid is good, but not really what I want or need right now. I can't believe I let that happen. I actually seriously can't believe I let that happen. This is a room where I'm going to have to keep moving, which means my army of flies is gone. For the same reason that I was talking earlier about the double monstro fight I had, it's for that exact same reason that I gotta keep moving in this room. That's fine though. Not really, not really thrilled about what just went down, but that's okay. Oh god, more monstros? Are you serious? Why with the monstros? There were four in here. Why were there four monstros? So many monstros. So many freaking monstros. Oh, hi. Okay. A shield of kamikaze flies saved me right there. Whew, this is intense. I I don't have enough health to, to survive, but at the same time, I'm doing incredible amounts of damage. I am greatly concerned right now. Getting into this, though. Alright. Yeah, blighted derps. Alright, moment of truth. Dry baby, I want you to be right there in front of me. Hey, Rainbow Baby sl slowing that little Rainbow Baby being being a bro and slowing things down. Figure the Necronomicon and get the kill. That was like super easy. All right, that was that was a fun run. That was a lot of fun. As per usual, it was looking harrowing at some point. But it's not at the end, and sacrificial knife has appeared in the basement. Sweet. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on Friday, I believe, with more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, hit the like button, do whatever the hell, that's your business. You're watching this, I'm glad you did. It's cool. So yeah, I'm Ollie Zowdy, catch you all later.